first thing you need to know is that one point perspective is only used when you can see the front and top or bottom of an object. If you can see the sides of the object, then you should be using two point perspective instead. If you'd like to see a full list of materials you'll need for one point perspective and two point perspective, please watch my video on perspective drawing materials. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. Start by taping down a single sheet of paper to keep it from moving around while you work. Make sure you're using low tack tape for this so that you don't rip the paper when you try to remove the tape later. To use your T-square, line it up with the edge of your table and make sure you always hold it firmly against the edge of your table to make sure that your horizontal lines are all perfectly parallel. Draw a horizontal line which will represent your eye level or horizon line. Now use your T-square to draw two parallel lines above the horizon line. These are the top and bottom of a square. Then line up your triangle with your T-square and use it to draw the sides of the square. This doesn't have to be a perfect square, you can just eyeball the measurements. Now draw a small point on the horizon line directly below your square. This is going to be your vanishing point. Use your ruler to create a line that connects each corner of your square to the vanishing point. Use your T-square to draw a line that intersects with the lines connected to the two bottom corners of your square. Then line up your triangle with your T-square and use it to draw the sides of the square. Use your T-square to create a line that intersects with the two lines you just created and the lines connected to the top two corners of the square. Once you erase the extra lines, you can see a transparent cube. To make the cube appear solid, you just have to erase the lines that would not be visible if this was a real solid cube. An easy trick for this is to remember that when an object is above the horizon line, you'll be able to see the bottom of it, and when an object is below the horizon line, you'll be able to see the top of it. The farther away the object is from the horizon line, the more you'll be able to see the top or bottom. Repeat this process again, but draw the cube below the horizon line this time. When you erase the extra lines, remember that you'll be able to see the top of the cube because it's below the horizon line. Notice that the closer the object is to the horizon line, the less you see of the top or bottom of the object. If you were to center your square with the vanishing point, you wouldn't be able to see any of the sides. All you would see is the front of the cube, so you would just be seeing a square. And that's all you need to know about one point perspective. Next week, I'm going to post a tutorial on two-point perspective, and I'll teach you how to create an object in perspective using a cube or box. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!